Coming up on today's edition of Channel 97 News. We take a look at various changes to the school year. Tiger walk at a football game. Check out our school trip abroad. And it all starts now. Welcome to the first edition of Channel 97 News for the 24-25 school year. I'm Carly Koenig. And I'm Blake Halston. Here are some announcements for the month. Our pink out game is October 24th for soccer and October 25th for football. Orders are due September 30th and can be picked up in the office the week of the pink out games. Do you want to join Art Club this year? The first meeting date is September 26th in room 320 after school. Just stop by that day to sign up. The cross-country team is off to a great start defeating Melba at our first ever dual meet on a very hot day. Our next meet will be at Triad High School in Illinois. Come out and support. The Collaborative Regional College Fair will take place Wednesday, October 2nd from 6 to 7.30 at Lindbergh High School. The fair will host over 100 college admissions representatives from around the country. Students from all grades are welcome. OHS will host a financial aid night for seniors and their parents on Thursday, September 26th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the OHS library. An expert from the Salua Office of Financial Services will be here to guide further college students through the financial aid process. Students in the A-plus scholarship program have a variety of ways to complete their 50 tutoring hours. Seniors should have their tutoring hours completed by May 1st. All documentation should be turned into Ms. Tibio in the counseling office. SCORE is an internet platform OHS uses to send high school transcripts to college and universities. All seniors should activate their SCORE account. Instructions to activate your account and request transcripts have been sent to your school email. Contact Mr. V in the OHS Guidance Office with questions. The first meeting of OHS Current Events Club will take place after school on Wednesday, September 25th in room 220. Current Events Club is new this year and is dedicated to informing ourselves and others about important events happening in the world. Know a lot about the news? Don't know much but want to learn? All are welcome. See Ms. Stancliffe with any questions. South Tech High School applications are open to current sophomores and juniors. South Tech will be hosting a preview night on October 23rd, 5 to 7 p.m. Tour the school, meet the teachers, talk to students, and get your questions answered. Don't miss your chance to take a closer look at South Tech. Spanish Club will have its next meeting on Wednesday, October 2nd, after school until 3.30 in room 227. All OHS students are welcome to attend. If you are interested in learning about other cultures or sharing your culture with others, come join the International Club. Meetings are after school on Tuesdays in room 122 and all are welcome. Our first culture presentation will be on Tuesday, October 1st. Come explore the food, history, and culture of Palestine. French Club slash French Honor Society. Unfortunately, we don't know what we will be doing at our next meeting, October 3rd, just yet. We're doing a mini Olympics next week on the 19th if you want to drop in, but our meetings will be held on Thursday after school in room 122. Many people did fun things over the summer. Some students and teachers went on a trip abroad together. Phoebe and Blake report on Petrov's Europe trip. If your Instagram was full of pictures of people's trips this summer, you may have seen a group of students and teachers that went to Europe. Here's more. I came here to Oakville right kind of during the pandemic, as the pandemic was ending. Um, I noticed that there wasn't a whole lot of student travel here at Oakville, and I love the student population here, and I felt like this was a great school to try and start a trip. She worked with a company called Education First, um, so she worked with a tour consultant from the company and they planned the trip. And Ms. Petroff did the legwork of recruiting students to come on the trip. I got an email from my a and teacher. She was kind of inviting me to go and I figured, when am I ever going to get the chance to do this? When Ms. Petroff sent me the email, I read it. I'm like, I have to go. This is my chance to get out of the country. In a short amount of time, the group was able to go to many different places. We visited four different countries. We went to Paris, France. We went to Zurich and Lucerne, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, and Dachau and Munich, Germany. My favorite memory was probably getting to take my shoes off and put my feet in Lake Lucerne. 
My favorite place that we went probably was Lucerne. It was absolutely gorgeous. The weather was perfect. It was amazing. I loved visiting Versailles and Paris. It was beautiful. I would really encourage other teachers to travel with their students. Um, it is a life-changing experience for all of us, and there's so many places to visit, and students sometimes need a little push or a little support from the school to take that leap out in the world. With Phoebe Real behind the camera, I'm Blake Bronick with Channel 97 News. It sounds like they had a lot of fun. Speaking of fun, Oakville has some new fun classes. Haley and Parker have the story. This year, OHS is offering two new classes. Let's get to know the first of the two, Intro to Leadership. So the Intro to Leadership class is something that we came up with to just help support the Link Crew program, basically, to give the kids extra tools that are helpful so when they teach the freshman mentoring lessons, that just to give them more support and confidence. Intro to Leadership is just Bishop getting uh, kids ready to go into leadership and just teaching us about uh, certain techniques and things to, for problem solving. We actually get to teach, teach the skills necessary instead of where leadership we're actually throwing you into the project and you're learning as you go. The intro class is kind of laying that foundation for everything beforehand so you already have, basically have it. People should take this class just because it really gets you ready for leadership roles in real life and really everything you do and then just helps with all group projects really throughout high school and jobs later in life. This class is open to sophomores and juniors and is based on teacher recommendations. Bishop also suggests you keep these things in mind. If it's something that they want to do, they just need to make sure that they're maintaining respect and integrity in the building. They're um, making a choice to put themselves out there, like be vocal in class, help teachers out on things that you see that need to be helped and you're, I mean, look to fill that leadership role. Be the one that's gonna stand up and say things when things need to be said and done. Now let's hear about our other new class this year, AP Environmental Science. Ms. Kendall tells us more. AP Environmental Science is a new class here at Oakville High School. Um, we're really focused on looking at the environmental impacts from humans on our earth. So we look at like from the biodiversity level, looking at the biology concepts, all the way up to how we as humans really just like impact our earth. So, so far we've been doing a lot of labs. Um, that's something I really want to focus on this year is just getting my students lots of lab experience. So we've been working on making eco columns where we're basically modeling mini ecosystems and uh, we're eventually going to be measuring environmental impacts of our ecosystems. And we do other things too, like so far we've dissected owl pellets, um, we've calculated the biodiversity outside of our school, um, and we just go outside a lot and just explore the environment around us. I took AP Environmental because I love taking care of the environment and I would love to learn more on how to take care of it and what properties that fall into the environment. So I think students should take this class because it d directly impacts them. So from even things like in politics, political issues, dealing with the environment and just staying informed about the earth around them and knowing what they can do to kind of improve the environment they live in, I think it's super important for students. With Haley Conway behind the camera, I'm Parker Wyatt with Channel 97 News. It's nice that students have the option to take these classes now. An existing class got some changes too. Adam and Dino tell us more about the changes to a &P. This year there have been many new changes to the way a works. Ms. Grabach tells us more about the new changes coming to a and a and P will now be divided into three periods of time. The first 30 minutes is just like it always has been with your grade level A and P, um, and you're with them getting like general announcements, um, any building level expectations that we need to communicate, that kind of thing. Then there will be two sessions um, in A and P where either teachers can pull students and roster them to them for those sessions. They're each 25 minutes or students can choose where they want to go um, during those two separate sessions and then that takes us all the way to 1025. I think I'm going to like the new A&P better than the old. Just It was so chaotic and everybody everywhere not knowing what's going on, kids in the hallway. So still haven't experienced it too much but I think the new A&P will be better. I think they're really good because it gives people that um, that are doing good in school, it gives them opportunity for like, uh, let's say you're going to, you want to go to gym A. You just hang out with your friends, you know, do sports, but you gotta do good in school for it, so. No more e-hall passes, like all everywhere. Um, it's organized, students won't just be sitting on their phones hopefully the whole time, and it's 
It's just a little bit more organization. This gives teachers the ability to have more interventions with students and really help students that need the time. Um, and then once teachers make their selections of who they want to see, then students have the freedom to choose where they want to go. I think it'll benefit them because it'll be e way easier in the future. I mean, obviously we're still getting used to it, but in the future it'll be way easier to navigate. With Adam Winter behind the camera, I'm Dino Solyanovich with Channel 97 News. There are so many modifications to the school year. One modification is in the cafeteria. Sarah and Gwen, tell us about Panera. You might have seen the new addition to Oakville High School's cafeteria. Let's get the people's opinion. It's more affordable than half the other stuff around. I like it. It's really close to the Panera smoothies. And you know that because you work there. I do know that because I work there. Yes, you do. Recommend. Probably the smoothie, yeah. Does it save you time in the morning? Yeah. Now that we got the people's opinion, let's see what the experts have to say. The first one was built over at Melville High School, so we kind of followed their blueprint of what to do, what works, what doesn't work. So It's been very popular bringing in students that ne don't necessarily purchase lunch, like if a student brings their lunch, they can still purchase this and be a part of the program. I like the cold brews. Um, I like that we offer so many flavors uh, and seasonal flavors, so I'm really excited for the pumpkin that will be coming up soon and the peppermint that will be out at Christmas. So I'm really excited about the seasonal. Um, smoothies are very popular. Thank you, Mrs. Leesfield, for that awesome info. She was courteous enough to give us drinks to try. Thank you, Mrs. Leesfield. Oh, I'm excited to try these treats. Oh, cheers. cheers. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> With Sarah Brand behind the camera, I'm Gwen Johnson for Channel 97 News. One coffee, make it black. So many teens love drinking coffee. Maybe the foreign exchange students might like it too. Nathan, Carly, and I tell you about the students from other countries. At the start of the school year, OHS welcomed four new foreign exchange students. It's very different in a lot of aspects. Um, it's nice that you guys have so many different sports and that you're all involved in different sports. It's also a very different school system and very different with sports and school. Sports and school go hand in hand here and in Germany it's pretty much uh, divided. Everything's different, like food, the environment, uh, the school, uh, the weather, and that's it. In everything, school, volleyball, life in general. It's way bigger, way harder, and there's a lot of, lot of different food. People like in school are so like friendly. Instead in Italy, they're like mean and rude. I think the diversity in sports. I've already watched a soccer game, a baseball game, and a football game. And I've never watched a baseball or a football game in my life before. Like, this school is three times bigger than mine. Or uh, all the classes, I have to change classes here. And in Italy, I stay always in the same class. And I change just teachers. As these four students get involved, those in the community can help other students learn about the American culture. Uh, I just want to add that I'm very grateful for my host family for taking me in. And I'm very grateful to all the friends that I've already made here. And there are still some of my friends and some of the people from the organization I know who are still looking for host families. So if you're interested to host and learn more about another culture and bring your culture to another student, uh, it's a great opportunity for you. If you are able to, please look into hosting a foreign exchange student. With Nathan Baker and Blake Halston behind the camera, I'm Carly Koenig for Channel 97 News. It's cool to have some students from other countries go to school here. It's not just students that have moved here. There are new teachers as well. Mandy, Allison, and Alyssa test the teacher's knowledge of OHS. Hi, I'm Miss Bradley. I teach English, and I like working at Oakville because there is a strong sense of community. My name is Miss Elking. I teach Spanish, and a reason why I like Oakville is because I graduated from here. Hi, my name is Tyson Campbell. I teach business classes here at Oakville High School. Uh, and I like Oakville because it's the community I live in. My name is Emily Glassetter. I teach biology and I love Oakville because of the community. Are you serious? 1968. Oh, 
Just under 2,000. We'll count that. Oh. It's 1,900. 1900. Oh my gosh. Over 1,900. 234. 234? Yeah. Five. Good job. Good job. Channel 97. Tennis courts. Ooh. 19. 20. 18. What? 21. <laughs> 17. <laughs> Wait, I'm right wrong way. Right around there. <laughs> Obviously, it feels amazing. <laughs> Any other thoughts? No, go Tigers. New teachers add new insight to the school. Dominique then decided to do Tiger walking in an insightful way. You might have seen Tiger walking in the cafeteria, but not at a football game. Here we are, opening game. Let's do some Tiger walking. <laughs> Best part of football games. Tiger cage. Yes, the tiger cage. And the Golden Girls. Woo! Why did you join Tiger Cage? To bring some school spirit to this school. We need it. Best part of football. Me playing. Aaron Bishop. Aaron Lamar Bishop. Well, what's the question? What's the question? Say Aaron Bishop. Aaron, uh, no, Gavin Anderson and Aaron Bishop. Gavin Anderson. Probably the getting ready part or the halftime show seeing the cheerleaders and Golden Girls. The football! I see you're sporting a crown. Yep. Yep. Got the crown. Best part of football games. Jackson Bailey. I love being here with the band. Probably the marching band. Watching the students go crazy and have a great time. With Ethan Cornell behind the camera, I'm Dominic McEntee for Channel 97 News. It's cool to see them do what they love to do. That concludes the September edition of Channel 97 News. But check out Tiger Journalism on Instagram for exclusive stories and updates. I'm Carly Koenig. And I'm Blake Halston. And remember, Oakville, keep, keep your, your eyes, eyes on, on the, the tiger. tiger. <laughs> Why is he getting so close to the camera? Keep I'm your like eyes Halston. on the tiger. That's how you go. Not keep your eyes Ready? on the tiger. Ready? Happy bloopers. <laughs>